crazy mother. G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to try and fire up this old turd. So the main things I've identified that it needs that it going, obviously, a distributor and a battery, a coil, leads, ignition side of things. I've scrounged around, got what I need. That dizzy is actually a slant dizzy, which they, you can make them work. And that's the original distributor out of my VE sedan, which is pretty cool. Had to buy a cap. These are easy to come by. I had a few coils laying around. I've got leads, I've got spare batteries. So I reckon today we could probably try and get this going. Let's see what we can do. This was last registered in about 1996, 97. Ran out at the end of 96. Um, hasn't been used for who knows how long. Um, but we did work out that the engine does turn over, which is always important when you want to try something like this there's a couple other things I need to ascertain before I go too far into trying to get this going and that of course to make sure the starter motor works um, as far as electricals go it doesn't matter we'll try and use the original stuff if not we can bypass but what I'm going to do first check there's nothing living in my air cleaner if that's all clear there I'm going to rip the plugs out we'll connect the battery up and see if we can get the engine to crank over on the starter I think I might have a spare starter I'm not 100% sure doesn't look too bad so nothing living in there let's see what's in here nothing clean perfect no one's made a little home another good sign it's nice and dry in there there's no signs of water corrosion or anything like that so that's a bonus next i'm going to attempt to pull these plugs out without breaking them we'll see how we go get some magic spray on them um, the reason I want to do that, make sure that we're going to have plugs that actually spark. We'll also be able to check the condition of what the engine's like inside and what it was doing before she stopped. And also will allow me to put some lubrication down into the cylinders. One thing I'm curious to know is what's going to come flying out of there. Popular little hidey hole for mice, rats. Hasn't been anything in there for a long time, but there's definitely been something in there. So we'll make sure we've got a camera on this end when we do go to fire it up. Righto, so the plugs came out without any issues. They all look fairly identical and healthy. No signs of excessive oil or oil burning. They're a little bit black, which just means it was rich. And who knows what it did for the last five minutes of its life. So I'm really happy with what I'm seeing in the spark plug department. So my guess is this motor is quite healthy. Righty, let's see if we can start a fire. getting hot that's a bonus how cool it would be if we had ignition lights and gauges and stuff oh look at that I just light just came on over there look we got power to the dash oh, wipers do I dare ignition on Don't expect too much. Warm? No. Oh, that's alright, there's no fires. Let's see what happens with this starter motor, huh? Ooh. Not 
throwing out. Oh, there we got some. Beautiful, that works. It's not super happy, but it's just bad connection. Oh, that's all right. That's good. Next job, breathe some life into this old girl. She's looking pretty sad, but we have the technology. We can rebuild him. All righty, so I've got a somewhat operational distributor now. Points are all cleaned up. This is all lubed up. It doesn't have a condenser, but we do have a suppressor for the radio. So I'm kind of hoping that that will do the job. It's kind of the same thing anyway. We'll see how we go. So we'll connect it up as a condenser, chuck the coil on, and then we'll test for spark. Right, I think we're ready. Ignition system sorted out. I've disconnected the fuel lines, just cut them because I don't want any junk. It may or may not happen. Pump up into everything. I don't need that. So I'm just gonna pour some fuel down the top, and see if she'll fire and run sweet. And she's running sweet. Well, then we'll uh, try and get it running a bit better with a auxiliary fuel tank set up and see how we go. Just threw a little bit of two strike down the guts. We'll um, see what happens. Try and do this one handed. of accelerator unfortunately and film and do this <laughs> wants to go let me put this camera somewhere hang on Well, she wants to. I need, um, it'd be nice if the dizzy was accessible while I was cranking it because I could sort of jiggle it as I was going, but um, 
we'll get there. I might get a better source of fuel, so I know I don't have to worry about that. Let's try that. All right, so the bowl is full and the accelerator pump is actually working, so I'm getting some squirty squirt action. Let's see how we go. <laughs> Sounds like it's got a blocked exhaust, to be honest. I did have a camera at the back and that stuff has cleared out, but it still sounds really quiet. So, I'll try again. <laughs> timing right so that will just keep running <laughs> Um, there's not clouds of smoke. We have heavy noises. She likes plenty of fuel and that's the secret. So as soon as she's getting low on the bowl, Carby seems to be working just fine. Um, I had some good strong revs and that's when I grabbed my camera and she was just starting to run out of fuel. So I'm gonna wire up a gravity feed fuel system for it. So we're getting some decent amount of fuel in the bowl. And then we'll check the gearbox, see what we've got in the way of gears. Righto, look at our little gravity setup happening. We'll floor it back up. That's beautiful, man. No brakes. I've got to be careful. Actually, let me chop the oils two seconds. Yuck. Sit on this brake seat. Oh. We have. Oh, we've got awesome gearage. Watch. Man, this is burnout central, I think. Chuck it in park. how long we're going to be happy for i've got a fair bit of a leak out the back it's possibly the rear main it could be the transmission so without further ado let's um let's do some skids
Rabba.